Good afternoon, my dear children. I hope you are all fine. I welcome you back to the Moral Science class. Okay? Are you all ready with your books? Yes. Okay. Uh, before beginning our class, we'll have a word of prayer. Okay? And if you close your eyes and fold your hands, let's pray. Our most heavenly, gracious Father, we thank you for the wonderful day you have given to us thank you for the, all the blessings you have given to us lord lord thank you for the food we have thank you for the clothes we wear thank you for everything lord lord thank you for this little children you have given to into our hands lord lord uh, help us to give the good knowledge help them to learn the lessons well help them to understand the story well lord lord as we are going to learn a new story lord lord be with each one of them and give them the memory part give them the understanding part to understand the lesson well and lord. send the holy angels to protect them and guide them bless all the parents also who are guiding the children lord our lord be with all the, of the parents and the children we ask in jesus name amen okay Yes, today I'm going to tell you a story. Okay, uh, lesson number eight. Okay, yes, start your book, turn your page, books to page number 27. Okay, yes, what is the topic of the lesson? The topic of the lesson is do not run away from God. Do not run away from God. Okay, yes, we are going to learn about Jonah. Okay, in this lesson, we are going to learn about the Jonah. Okay, first, we uh, where was uh, Jonah now? He was in Nineveh. Okay, Nineveh was the uh, capital of Assyria, capital city of Assyria. Okay, and it is a very great and city, and uh, but the people living there was very wicked. Okay, wicked and does not have a uh, knowledge to understand, uh, uh, understand or the know the difference between the good and the bad. Okay, they are all wicked people okay but still god loved all these wicked people okay in any way okay which place Nineveh city okay he wanted to love them he wanted to love them to love him also and he wanted he helps uh, the people to love him love the god so god said to the prophet jonah okay had to run in. remember what is the prophet's name is jonah okay and he asked jonah to go to nineveh where the people were staying there and tell them that because of their wickedness why because of the wickedness uh, the nineveh city is going to be destroyed okay god asked whom to go to that nineveh place jonah okay what was his name jonah he was a prophet and God asked Nini, uh, Jonah to go to the Nineveh city. Okay, remember, this is was very important. Okay, God asked, where was, where did God ask Jonah to go to? To the city Nineveh. Okay, because uh, their people were very wicked and they are going to destroy the city in 40 days. How many days? 40 days. Uh, God was very uh, sure that this message would make them to stop and think, okay, what which is correct and which is wrong. But what did Jonah do? Jonah was afraid to go to Nineveh. God asked this. Uh, God asked to go to uh, Nineveh city. Jonah, but Jonah was very afraid to go to Nineveh. Okay, he planned to go so far away from God. He was not uh, willing to go to Nineveh. So. For three days, Jonah was running here and there, ran and uh, away from the God. Okay, and uh, away, and he also moved away from God, and he does not want to go to the Nineveh city. And um, uh, and he was keep on going. He was keep on going, and he reached a place called Zopa, J O P P A Zopa, and stopped there. He got into the ship, and he. Uh, get the sh uh, he get into the ship where the ship was going to the place to the city of Tarshish it, God asked uh, Jonah to go to Nineveh but he hired a ship and he went to Tarshish okay he disobeyed God this is the main thing this is the turning point of Jonah okay but uh, being very tired he was keep on moving three days and th uh, he was keep here and there he was very tired so uh, um, uh, he slept in the corner of the ship and he get into the ship and he slept okay 
and the ship started sail sailing okay soon when the sh uh, ship started sailing soon a great wind came began to blow okay great wind okay when you are in a ship just imagine your ship and a great wind started blowing what would happen what do you think you will be afraid isn't it yes uh, the ship started sailing and soon great winds began to blow and the ship was tossed up and down he was it the ship was turning upside down okay and the captain was also afraid of it and everyone in the sh ship everyone in the ship was, uh, shouted to their own gods for help isn't it uh, they were very afraid of the um when blowing wind okay and um, they were all the people in the ships were shouting uh, sh shouting okay you can look at the picture on page number 28 but what was jonah doing jonah was uh, sleeping nicely in the ship and uh, and um, uh, when you look at the jonah captain started woking him up jonah okay ok jonah who okay, woke okay. up captain okay and ask him to pray to god um, true god ask him to pray to god for help who woke the jonah in the captain okay and then they cast lots of sea who made them god angry then they cast lots lots to sea and who made them god angry and the lot fell on jonah okay what happened they put a lot okay they put a lot and whom um, and in that lot they wrote different people's name and they choose one thing and what the name was there what is the chosen pe person it was jonah okay and jonah admitted that he was running away from his from the god jonah was accepted that he was going far away from god and uh, he asked he himself said he himself said just throw me into the, to the people that throw me into the water okay so uh, um, into the sea sadly um, so what uh, what did the people do so they uh, put jonah into the see they put the jonah into the sea and what happened to the surprise or oh, storm was silent and it was stopped the storm stopped okay when he put jonah into the sea the storm stopped okay and jonah what happened to jonah he was very afraid also and he went to a uh, down down into the sea and he suddenly felt that was very warm and something something which was when he put into the sea it was very cold and it was chill isn't it but suddenly he was going deep into the sea suddenly he felt that it was very warm what happened a a, a, a huge fish swallowed jonah okay what happened a huge fish swallowed or a mean when they nach jonah va milingirchu okay swallowed swallowed the huge uh, jonah and for one whole day and parts of two other days okay so three days he was inside the fish how many days he was inside the fish for three days okay he thought inside the fish he was praying to god god please save me god juna was praying to god who for he thought about the god whom he had loved and so he was serving the god and he was loved the god several for many years but now he was away from god so inside the fish he was praying to god to help him and he promised inside the fish he promised to god what was the promise promise is that that whatever you say i will obey them okay jonah promised to god that he will obey god okay after that promise what happened to jonah god saved jonah god saved jonah from the uh, fish's belly okay how many days he was there inside the fish three days and three nights okay and god guided the fish okay god guided the fish to the shore okay then and then he uh, the fish vomited and he jonah came out from the fish's belly okay and he was vomited into the sand she shore okay and jonah what did inside the belly he was praying to god what did the, what was the prayer he said he said that he will obey the god isn't it yes whatever he said inside the fish he he obeyed immediately after coming out of me after coming out from the fish's belly he started walking along the beach and where did god first in the beginning what did god say god asked jonah to go to which place nineveh isn't it but he didn't go to nineveh he went to the where did he go where did the name um, where did he move he, he went to tarshish isn't it 
so now he uh, god asked him to go to nineveh but he went to tarshish now when he come um, come when he comes out from the uh, fishes belly he went he started moving to started me moving to nineveh and this is how jonah was being saved by from uh, the fishes belly and he for because of his disobedience he was being punished and after that when he was truthful after that he was being vomited by fish and uh, he obeyed god's word okay this is the main thing the main thing you have to obey your parents whatever things according to elders whenever elder or your parents or your grandfather or grandmother you said you had to obey obey them obeying is a very important thing that god wants us to do okay yes okay and this for memory verses taken from numbers 1418 the lord is long suffering and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression okay the lord is long suffering and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression numbers 1418 this was the memory verse okay okay children i hope you love the story and enjoy the story may god bless you each one of them thank you children